Hi, my name is Zita Bano and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about children literature that you must read and I will try to keep this video really short because I've been noticing that my videos are getting longer and longer. The reason behind this is I do not have any friends in real life so I don't get to talk a lot. So this is the only time when I'm talking and I use this opportunity to let out everything that I have to say. So bear with me if this video gets longer but I will try to keep this video short. Without further ado, let's get into it. The first book that I want to recommend is Coraline. So this is a book that I have read a lot of years ago and then it was made into an animated movie as well. I really enjoy the book and I really enjoy the animated movie as well. The basic story is that there is a girl Coraline so um, she is the kind of girl who is very relentless and she wants to do something or the other and her parents they are not really indulging with her so what happens is that there is this mythical dimension that she goes into and there she meets another family which completely looks like her family but acts differently so this is the basic story of Coraline and why am I recommending this book because I believe that the story of Coraline is basically about family and how we respond towards the family like most of the times we want two things from our family we want Want our family to mollycoddle us and then we want our family to let us be independent as well and that was the case with Coraline as well even after becoming adults we still have these problems with our family it can be our immediate family it can be our extended family we can have this problem with our parents or we can have this problem with our spouses that we want independence yet we want that sort of love and we want that sort of mollycoddling as well so this book teaches you that if you're going in X direction or the Y direction what are the things that you will potentially lose or what are the things that you can potentially gain from that so that's why I would recommend every adult to read this book the next book that I want to recommend is The Little Prince so The Little Prince I made a complete video on this book already if you want to check it out go there and check it out so basically it's a story of a guy who meets a little prince so little prince is from a little planet and he's exploring the universe while he's exploring the universe he comes across these other small planets which are usually inhabited by one person what I really enjoyed while I was reading this book was that there is so much beauty in simple words and you get to understand the philosophy of life by reading this book. So as I was telling you that on small planets there is just one person who is inhabiting that planet. So there is one man who is conceited, there is one man who is businessman, there is a king. So all these people they represent something or the other in the real world. My other phone started ringing and I'm sorry for that. I completely forgot what I was talking about. I was talking about The Little Prince and I was saying that everybody should read it because every person that is inhabiting that planet, that person represents something in the real life. Now my mother is here. So she got me this and I think I need to start talking about The Little Prince because that is definitely not working out. If you want to know more about this book, go check this review out. My next recommendation is Charlie and the Chocolate Factory and I don't think this should come as a surprise but I think that everybody should read Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. So basic story is that Charlie gets the ticket to Willy Wonka's factory and then he goes there with five other kids and all these kids they do something or the other and then they are knocked out and after that he is the one who wins the contest or whatever that was. At the end he comes to know that he is now the proud owner of the factory and Willy Wonka was actually looking for someone who he can give his company to. So this is the book that I have read so many times that I have actually lost count of it. Um, when I was a kid I had this habit like I would read a book and then I would reread it and then I would keep reading it like I would listen to a story and then I would ask my mother to again tell me that story like it never bored me. I think I don't know I was unique or everybody does the same but Charlie in the Chocolate Factory I have read it so many times so what I as an adult think that why everybody should read Charlie and the Chocolate Factory is because um, all these characters in Charlie and Chocolate Factory they represent something for example there was a greedy kid then there was this Brad and then there was this kid who was always occupied with the TV so they represent something or the other in real life and we as an adult we start complicating things and things are really simple like simple in a sense that just don't be greedy be honest just don't be obnoxious don't be stubborn like these are the small things that we need to understand and then you know we put ourselves into these moral and ethical dilemmas in which we are trying to justify our greed like we say stuff like oh my god um, it's not greed because if I am taking advantage of somebody and it's not hurting them it's not hurting anybody else then it's all right like these are the things that we start telling ourselves as an adult but I think that these 
these things are wrong. It's just simple fact that greed is something that is wrong. And if you read Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, it explains that in simple words. So I would totally recommend that you as an adult read Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. My next recommendation is Alice in Wonderland. So this is again the book that I have read so many times. And when I was a child, like this book sort of irritated me a little bit as well, because Alice, uh, when in the book she was having these conversations, she was not getting really replies of these conversations. Like everybody was telling her something and everybody was sort of giving her statements and uh, she wasn't really replying to them. So the basic story of Alice in Wonderland is there is a girl Alice and she goes into a wonderland. I am not saying anything else because I think everybody already sort of knows the story. Uh, there was a movie on Alice in Wonderland and the movie was really, really famous. Um, so. I don't think that I need to talk about it. But again, what I really enjoy in this book was the main idea of this book, like idea in a sense that first of all, Alice was always someone who was either too tall for something or she was too short for something. And when you read these books as an adult, you start understanding the underlying meanings of these things. Like growing up when I was reading it, I was thinking that what is she doing? Why is she taking these different portions where she doesn't even understand what is going to happen to her. But as I grew up, I understood the underlying message that message is sometimes we are trying but we just cannot fit in some environments are not made for us and we are not made for some environments and another lesson that I learned from this book as an adult was this allegory of garden like garden was something that was looking really beautiful from afar but when Alice goes there she realizes that there are so many problems like there's so much weird stuff that is going on in here and um, this garden is our life like sometimes we want to achieve things and we look at them and we're thinking wow such a fabulous thing we want it right now and we when we get it we realize that this was not so great like there, there is a proverb in urdu Dur ke so this was something that i learned from alice in wonderland and i would totally recommend that as an adult you read this book okay i was trying to make this video shorter like i was intending for this video to be six to seven minutes long but i think it's longer than that but my last recommendation is letter woman so i don't think this is basically a children book it's more for teenagers um or pre-teens but i would totally recommend this book to all the adults so the basic story is that there is a family uh, there are four girls four sisters and they enjoy a beautiful bond together so um, essentially there is not much story in little women so, like little women they are growing up together and someone wants to become a writer and someone else wants to become something else and they have different personalities and how this family is living together how this family is fighting the adversaries in their life is essentially little women but what I really enjoyed in this book was that this book tells you so much about how how you should treat your family, how you should treat your siblings and how you should support each other and there always resentment that you hold towards each other. If you are living together, you must have some problems. But how do you move forward from these problems is something that I learned from Little Women and um, I said this before but I'm going to say it again. So reading Little Women was like uh, going on a dinner with a very nice family and then coming back home and still thinking about that family and thinking how nice that family was. So the family of Little Women is really nice and once you finish this book you sort of miss that family and you sort of keep thinking about that family. So I would totally recommend all the adults to read this book because the lessons that you get from this book are useful no matter what your age is. So that's about it. These were my recommendations. See you next time with another video.